Good morning, I'm Kara Rucker. The time is now 8 o'clock on this Wednesday. Our top story, a House vote is scheduled to take place this morning as Congress looks to intervene and prevent a rail strike. This is your morning update. Uh, and again, I don't like going against the ability of, of uh, unions to strike, but weighing the equities, we must avoid a strike. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi standing alongside Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. The two chambers of Congress in solidarity on moving swiftly to pass legislation that would prevent a rail strike. The railroads have been at odds with unions for months. A potential strike could take place December 9th. Congress looking to get ahead of that date to prevent a loss of $2 billion daily to our economy. Um, it goes without question, we're disappointed. Um, out of 25 total counts, there were 11 guilty verdicts, so that's, you know, batting above the Mendoza line, certainly. The verdict is in, and the founder of the Oath Keepers has been found guilty of seditious conspiracy, along with one other group member. There were a total of five members on trial. Sedition is a charge rarely prosecuted, a trial that could set precedent for another two upcoming trials revolving around January 6th. The Oath Keepers convicted of charges that carry a maximum sentence of 20 years in prison. Strong winds slinging debris in a dangerous weather event across the south. Storms with tornadoes and golf ball sized hail were reported largely across Mississippi and Alabama. Tornado sirens rang out at night. Residents dealing with heavy downpours, flooding, downed trees and a loss of power. The storm is expected to continue moving east, headed for Georgia and Florida today. State employees in South Dakota are now banned from using TikTok on any government devices. That includes downloading the app on mobile devices or visiting TikTok's website on a computer's web browser. The new rules will affect all employees of state government agencies. South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem signed the executive order yesterday, citing, quote, a national security threat posed by TikTok due to its data gathering operations on behalf of the Chinese Communist Party. An experimental drug has slowed cognitive decline by 27% in Alzheimer's patients. The Alzheimer's Association saying the drug can change the course of the disease. Alzheimer's has no cure, and while there are side effects found in this clinical study, researchers say it's some of the most promising results yet. There were 1,800 patients in the clinical trial. 13% of patients experienced brain swelling. 14% experienced a brain hemorrhage. 68% saw cognitive improvements. The FDA will decide in January whether to approve the experimental drug, something the Alzheimer's Association is urging the agency to do. The Rubik's Cube is turning 50 years old. The cube of many colors with twists and turns stimulating minds around the world. There have been more than 450 million cubes sold, and there are more than 43 quintillion different configurations the cube can make. Uh, the, the, uh, probably the, one of the main key of the uh, cube is the, the contradiction between uh, complexity and simplicity. The cube can be solved in as little as 20 moves, although it might take some of us a lot more tries than that. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll continue to follow the latest headlines for you at noon. Until then, from the heartland of America, I'm Kara Rucker. Have a great day.